Okay, now that we have defined the concept of a random variable, we are going to move on to defining the three functions that I mentioned earlier. And the first one is the probability mass function. Um, first of all, this is defined for discrete random variables where the, 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 the values that the random variable can take are discrete. It means they are distinct and you can list them. Uh, for instance, for heads and tails, you assign zero and one, or as you can see here, we defined y1 to take values from zero to seven, the integers, or y2 can take only zero, one, two, and three, and so on. So you have discrete values uh, for the definition of the random variable, and such random variables we call discrete random variables. And we are going to define probability mass function for discrete random variables. And the definition is actually given here on this graph. This is the probability mass function for random variable y1. And this is the notation we use, a small case letter p. And here, as a subscript, you put the name of the random variable. And for random variables, we generally use a, um, a, 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 an uppercase notation. And here you have the variable. Um, the, this variable is, is sometimes uh, confusing. Sometimes you use a small case version of the random variable here, or especially with the PMF, we might use um, indices like K or I. Um, so this is a free variable essentially. And the definition is here, the PMF, the probability mass function of random variable Y1 is defined as the probability of the random variable Y1 taking the value here. So you see the random variable Y1 can take the value zero, one through seven. And therefore, these are the values. Its PMF has non-zero values, okay? At zero, it has a value of one over eight because that is the probability that uh, the outcome, this outcome occurs. And that is equivalent to Y1, random variable Y1 taking the value zero. Therefore, the, the probability of y1 being equal to 0 is 1 over 8, which means the PMF of y1 at 0 is also 1 over 8. Similarly, the PMF of y1 at 1 is 1 over 8, and the PMF of y1 at 2 is 1 over 8, 1 over 8 and so on, up to 7. Okay. So let's look at y2, the random variable y2. Now in y2, you see we have the, the values 0, 1, 2, and 3. And see, 0 has probability 1 over 8. Therefore, the PMF of y2 at the value 0 is 1 over 8. Similarly, 3 has 1 over 8 probability. Therefore, it also has the value one over eight. On the other hand, you see the value one occurs three times of, of these outputs or outcomes. Therefore, uh, the random variable y2 taking the value one has three over eight probability. Hence, the PMF of y2 at one is equal to three over eight. Similarly, with two, the probability is three over eight. Therefore, the PMF of Y2 at the value two has three over eight value. Let's look at the other ones. The PMF of Y3. Now Y3, let's see, it has four ones here. Therefore, it's going to have four over eight at the value one and for two, the probability will be two over eight. Therefore, 
the PMF of Y3 at two is going to be equal to two over eight. And the outcomes zero and three has one over eight probability. Therefore the PMF values at zero and at three are one over eight. When we look at Y4, it doesn't have zero now. It, it can only take the values one, two, or three. And let's look at one. I have one and two. Therefore, the PMF uh, of Y4 at one is going to have the value two over eight. Let's look at two. I have four of those. Therefore, the PMF value PMF of Y4 at two is going to have the value four over eight, which leaves two over eight to three. And finally, when we look at Y5, um, you see we have two zeros here. Therefore, the probability of Y5 taking the value zero is two over eight, which means the PMF of Y5 at zero is two over eight. And I have one, two, three, four, one values, which means Y5 taking the value one has four over eight probability. Therefore, the PMF of Y5 at one will have four over eight probability. And finally, Y5 being equal to two has two over eight probability, which means the PMF of Y5 at two is two over eight.